Hi guys, it's Adam from Team Workout Movement and today I'll show you a great upper ab workout which is meant for beginners. Now if you find this workout too easy then just put another CV there or just increase the rep range. But before we start, let's explain the function of our upper abs. Basically they are supposed to drag our upper body to like a leaning position where they are extended so you can see now in the video and then to contract them into the position where our scapulas are almost elevated above the ground when we are lying on the floor and this is the movement which we'll be doing so the crunch and it's the most basic movement how you can train your upper abs so with this knowledge let's put it into a workout so the first exercise will be a crunch already as i mentioned the most basic exercise but in order to make it a little harder we'll put our legs into an elevated position where they'll be nice and straight and also we have a 90 degree angle between our body and our legs in this case, you'll be just crunching, so turning your upper body up and down, and with your breathing, you always want to exhale while going up and inhale while coming down. This pattern is really important and it will apply to all of these exercises, so always exhale up and then inhale while going down. But it doesn't stop here. Right after you finish with those 10 reps, you'll be curling to the side. So instead of just going up and straight, you'll go to the side of your foot and grab it from the side. So this will be the movement which we'll be doing five times for each side. So by each rep, you'll be switching the sides. So first your left, then your right. And again, you'll be repeating just like this for 10 times. The second exercise will be a bicycle crunch, which means that we will use some rotation in our upper abs so that we get even better contraction. And you'll be doing this movement for 10 times, meaning five times to each side. So be always switching the sides again by each rep that you will do. And again, breathing stays similar. So exhale up, inhale down. And again, guys, 10 reps for this exercise. For the third exercise, we will put our legs again into an elevated position, but in this case, we will crunch them. So in this case, the movement will be a little easier than in the first exercise, but again, the same, same technique applies. So again, exhalation up, inhalation down, and then of course, the movement should be nice and slow. Elbows, don't stick your elbows together, always then separately alongside of your head. All right, this is the number three, and we'll do the same thing as in the first one. So after you finish the 10 reps of going just straight, you will be doing them to the side. So again, another 10 reps, five for each side. So we'll be always switching them and always curling to one side and the other one. So we get some additional rotation and additional tension on our abdominal muscles. For number four, we'll again repeat the bicycle crunch. But in this case, we won't be doing 10 reps, but only eight reps. But the technique still applies the same. So you know it, again, isolation up, inhalation down, elbows nicely stick outside and then just do it nice and slow. And for the fifth exercise, we'll do a crunch again, but in this case, we won't put our legs into an elevated position. They will just stay on the ground in a crunch position, just as you can see on the video. And then we'll be just going up and down with our upper body, putting our scapulas into the air. Now again, the movement should be nice and slow and the breathing should always exhale while going up and inhale while going down. And then guys, always try to make the movement nice and slow so you get the full contraction on the way up and also be sure to go slowly also on the way down because many people actually tend to forget about this. But if you skip the lower part of the movement, so the negative one, you are already losing half of the contraction which you could get from this exercise and therefore a lot of more progress which you could have made. So guys, nice and slow and do it for 10 reps. But again, the same principle applies as in the first and the third exercise. So we'll be going to the sides right after that. So again, we'll be doing 10 reps, meaning five to each side. And again, same technique applies. So you always want to elevate your scapulas above the ground and do the movement nice and slow, always exhaling while going up and inhaling while going down. So 10 reps in total. Then for the sixth exercise, what we'll be doing again is the bicycle crunch. In this case, we'll reduce the difficulty even more and we'll do only six reps. Again, techniques stay similar, so you know it nice and slow up and down. Use the maximum contraction which you can get by curling your body to the side and get the nice contraction on your upper abs, which you really want. And for last, the finisher which we've been waiting for. So the end of the workout, we'll be doing a crunch hold for 20 seconds. So we'll be just in the upper crunch position with your scapulas elevated above the ground and you'll be just holding through your upper abs, your upper body. And in this movement, you can even try to strengthen your hand so they'll be behind you and you will have this better contraction on your muscle because the lever will be even stronger. Or you can just keep it behind your hand but never put them together. All right, so this is the movement which we'll do for the end 20 seconds. If you have enough strength yet, you can do 30 or maybe maybe 40 seconds, but this is the last exercise which you'll do in this workout. Alrighty guys, so this is it for the workout. You should do it right after each other without any break. So if you have problems, try to really fight through the pain and go through the entire workout at once. If you really cannot, then try to have like a really short break. So maybe like 10 seconds, maybe even less, and then try to continue and finish the workout. Alright guys, this is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, share and subscribe. And also if you have any questions, look it down in the comment section below and write me. Also guys, 
follow me on my social media. I have daily uploads now on my Instagram, so be sure to check it out. And for last, I hope with this workout, you'll get your dream six pack. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and bye.